Hi, Miss Williams. So I came to try some sushi, but we're ending up going to eat eel. So I'm gonna try taste it. Let's see so what it looks like. Slow. I was slow though when I thought. Oh my gosh. Look, can't get that. Oh, it's eel, chopsticks, whole different experience out of my comfort zone. Yeah, she went on a little thug. Yeah. And? What did it taste like? It tastes like magic, doesn't it? It's like magic. She said magic. It's really not that bad. Yeah. It tastes like chicken. I probably like... wouldn't eat it again, though. No? <laughs> I think you should try octopus. Really well, nice. that was my oh, new experience out of my comfort octopus. zone. So, Miss Williams, in that clip that you just saw, that was me recording myself um, taking the experience of trying eel. I went to a local sushi restaurant called Gizmo Sushi, and I went there with the intentions of trying raw sushi. Uh, raw sushi would be a little bit out of my comfort zone because even though I have tried sushi before, it's only been cooked sushi, which I actually do enjoy. So when I got there, I just wanted to go the extra distance. So I actually asked the waitress what she could recommend that would expand my horizons a little bit and take me a little bit further out of my comfort zone. And she did recommend eel. So I did go forward with trying it. Um, every time I think of eel, it always reminds me of the movie Rush Hour uh, when Jackie Chan tries to get Chris Tucker to eat some Chinese food and he has him eat eel. And Chris Tucker does say that it is pretty good. So I did want to go ahead and then just give it a try. Um, so here's a little clip from that, and um, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, that's an eel. Is it good? Very good. What you got? Camel's hump. What? Camel's hump. Hmm. Kind of good. Need a little hot sauce, but it's kind of good, though. So, as you saw in that clip, Chris Tucker did try eel for the first time. Um, and he did say that it was pretty good. However, it could use some hot sauce. And I must say that I agree with him. Now, the eel that I ate, it was smoked eel, and it was covered in an eel sauce. Um, the eel sauce, uh, it was a sweet sauce. And it almost gave it like a barbecue slash sweet and sour taste. So that made it pretty cool. Um, the eel that I eat, um, the texture of it, it was like kind of mushy and it was um, almost like a mushy chicken. So it wasn't like the best feeling while eating it. And that did make it a little disturbing uh, to me. Um, but uh, it wasn't all that bad. It's just not something that I think I would try again. Um, I did discover through a little bit of research that eel is a very famous Chinese dish. Um, and over in China, they do serve two types of eel. They serve saltwater eel or freshwater eel. And in America, they will only actually serve saltwater eel. So that's the type of eel that I had. And going forward from that, um, I did also discover that it is pretty popular in other places as well, such as Britain. Britain, they actually eat a dish called jelly eel. And jelly eel, what they do is they boil the eel, and then they season it, and they serve it in a jelly stock. Um, also, it's pretty famous for Scandinavians who like to eat eel a little differently. Uh, they like to eat eel baked and cold and served on bread. So eel is a pretty famous dish um, for a lot of different cultures and a lot of different places throughout the world. Um, it's something that I am glad that I was forced into tasting because I do like experiencing new things, um, and, um, experiencing new religions. Um, speaking of religion, I did also discover in my research that eating eel is something that's actually looked down upon if you're a believer in the first testament of the Bible. Um, apparently because eel does not have fins, it's not something that you should eat. It's looked at as an abomination. So that was another interesting fact that I just thought I would throw in there. Um, it does make me think twice about eating it again also. <laughs> but, um, I mean, nonetheless, it was a new experience and it was a good one. I'm glad that I can say that I did try it. Um, and that was me eating eel. So I hope you liked it.